with your protein, so your chicken, shrimp, fish, whatever you want to cook. Um, you're going to make your green seasoning. So I already have mine made. I prepped this all last night. So this is what has the onion, the garlic, the cilantro, and the hot pepper in it. Um, and I've already used half of it, or I want to say like one third of it, to pre-season my shrimp. So I've seasoned the shrimp with the green seasoning, salt and pepper, a little bit of that curry powder, um, and cumin powder that I told you about. Okay, once you have all of that prepped and it's either been marinating overnight or for that one hour that I mentioned, um, what I'm going to do, to, you're going to prep all your other ingredients. You're going to have your green seasoning standing by. I've already made my curry slurry, which has the curry powder, the cumin powder, and the turmeric, and I've added water. As you can see, it's like a little bit runny, but not too watery and not too thick. Because um, when you add it to the heat, it is going to thicken up. Um, today, I am stretching my curry with um, Chinese long beans. So this is going to be like... Okay, so I'm using Chinese long beans to stretch my curry. Um, we call it Bodhi in Trinidad or Bora in Guyanese. Um, you're gonna wanna use like a sturdy vegetable, potatoes, Chinese long beans, um, sometimes even green beans, depending on the type of green beans you're using. Um, again, just something really sturdy because it's gonna melt and just become a mush and you're not gonna want like that. So. Because this is gonna take longer than my shrimp, I'm gonna actually start currying this first. However, if you are using chicken or beef, you're gonna to wanna to start with that and then add your potatoes or your carrots or whatever you're adding to your curry, okay? So let's get started. I'm gonna add about three to four tablespoons of, right now I'm using canola oil. You can use vegetable oil or coconut oil. Um, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that that's nice and hot because you're gonna add that one teaspoon of cumin seed and one teaspoon of coriander seed to the oil and you're going to want to let that pop and get slightly golden brown okay so i'm just waiting for this oil to heat up um it looks like it's hot enough i'm testing it it's bubbling up there so i'm going to add the rest Okay, so now it's golden brown and I'm adding about, I wanna say three quarters of what I had in that container. I just the and I'm lowering it to about medium heat. So now that that is cooking and getting golden brown, you want your onions to get translucent and your garlic to get toasted. Um, you don't want it to be burnt. You just want it to be nice and golden brown. So to that, I am going to add my curry slurry that I mentioned in the recipe. So that's that curry mixed with the water. And I'm gonna actually keep this cup to the side in case I need to add more water later. So now I'm mixing my curry. Okay, so now mixing the beans until it's coated with the curry. Each one is coated with curry. If you are using meat, um, this is where you're gonna make sure that your chicken is sealed, like I mentioned in the recipe. So you want to make sure that each chicken is coated with the curry and you're going to crank that heat up to medium high and you're going to make sure that each side doesn't look raw that's what it means by sealed and this is looking a little bit dry as you can see so if i cover this pot right now my curry is going to burn so i now i'm going to add a little bit of water to this cup that i had left aside this is going to be just adding some extra flavor because already we already have the curry in here quarter cup to a third cup of water here and i'm just going to add that to the pot and i'm going to mix that really well and let that come up to a boil once it comes up to a boil i'm going to just cover the pot and let that cook so it's boiling 
and I'm covering it now and letting it cook for about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna let that cook for 10 minutes, then I'm gonna check it for doneness, season, and check for salt. And then based on how well it's cooked, then I'm gonna add my shrimp. Remember, shrimp only take two to three minutes, but um, if you were cooking chicken, um, you would do the same thing, but maybe after five minutes, I would then say add your potatoes, because then your chicken and your potatoes are gonna cook at the same time. Um, making sure that you're cutting your potatoes approximately the same size as your chicken pieces because um, you want it all to be done at the same time. Okay, so I've had the Chinese long beans cooking for about maybe five or six minutes. I'm just going to check now to see if it is sticking or if it's getting too dry at the bottom. And it looks like it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just maybe a quarter cup water to the pot. Um, to prevent it from sticking or burning. Um, because this is a really sturdy vegetable, it needs a little bit more to cook. Um, in my preference, I like it like this, a little bit more firm. And then I'm gonna add the shrimp because again, the shrimp only takes two to three minutes. Okay, so the Chinese long beans or the Bodhi has been cooking and it's now the way that Mom and Avia like it, so I feel good that I'm going to add my shrimp now. Again, this is the shrimp that we had seasoned the night before with the green seasoning, the curry powder, and the roasted cumin powder. I'm not really digging the way that this is looking right now, so I'm going to add a little bit of water. And I'm going to use this container to soak up all the flavor of this marinade and add the water in and then allow it to cook for that two to three, maybe even five minutes, depending on how the shrimp are looking. Okay, so I've just put a little bit of water in the container and just swirled it around to get some of that marinade. And now I'm adding it to the pot. As you can see, the shrimp is already turning pink. Um, and the worst thing is overcooked shrimp. So I don't recommend this being your first one to try, maybe try chicken or beef. Um, so I'm gonna give this a good mix. And make sure that each piece is just in that liquid. Your meat, remember your meat and your seafood, whatever you're cooking, is gonna release its own natural liquid, so um, Keep that in mind. Don't add too much water at the beginning because then you're gonna have a really watery curry and no one really likes that. So now I'm happy with the amount of water that's in there. I'm gonna leave it at about medium heat and I'm gonna pop the lid on and let it cook for three to four minutes. Okay, so it's been about three or four minutes. The shrimp are perfectly cooked. And as you can see, it actually has released that little bit of water that I talked to you about. I'm gonna now add that remaining little bit of fresh seasoning, like I told you. And I actually like, and I learned this from my mom, um, I actually like adding like roasted cumin powder at the end of cooking as well. So I'm just gonna sprinkle that on top. I don't know what the measurement is, but I wanna say maybe a teaspoon. And I'm gonna cut the heat and give that a mix. And you are done. So you may want to serve this with fresh cooked rice or roti. Um, if you want to cheat, uh, Walmart has, or Costco has Shan brand, S-H-A-N brand paratha, and it's frozen and all you need to do is peel the Peel it off, peel the plastic off and fry it in the pan and you can eat it with this and it tastes really good. Um, and then another thing that tastes really good with this is dal, which you've had before, so I can teach you how to cook that maybe next time. Okay, so enjoy!